Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be sharing a tool that I have found on GitHub. This is an executable PE launcher for EXE and DLL files that is written in Python. It is able to execute an EXE or DLL binary file remotely and in memory filelessly. As shown in the screen, the name of the tool is called PY in memory PE. You can use the Python script available or even better, compile it to a Windows binary with PY installer or Nuit car. Having a Windows binary is much better as your victim might not have Python installed on their machine. Conveniently, a pre-built EXE binary is available in the output folder as described over here. I have already tested this so I know that it is gonna bypass Windows Defender like a champ. Let's get started and see how it works. Alright, let's download the project file onto our Windows machine. As shown in the screen, Windows Defender is running and all of the features are enabled except automatic submission. We can test this out by copying the Mimikatz binary over to our Windows machine and watch Windows Defender in action. Alright, now let's extract the downloaded PY in memory PE tool. Awesome, no detection as expected. If we were to execute the pre compiled binary over here, we can see that there is no detection still. The error occurred because we didn't supply any arguments. Now let's hop over to our Kali machine and generate a metaprinter payload in two different formats to test out the tool. First, EXE and followed by the DLL format. Now let's set up our MSF console to have a listener listening for the incoming metaprinter reverse shell. Now let's use Python to spin up a web server so that our Windows machine can fetch the metaprinter payload remotely from our Kali machine. Let's try executing pyazmemory.exe file again, supplying our Kali machine IP address and the payload file name. Nice, no errors and still no detection. Hopping over to our Kali machine, we can see that the payload was downloaded and we now have an established metaprinter connection from our victim Windows machine. That is awesome. Similarly, we can test it out with the DLL payload as well, which is also working perfectly. This should get picked up by Windows Defender pretty fast as we are using the provided pre compiled EXE binary. I would advise you to make some minor changes to the Python script and compile it yourself to get a fresh PYZ memory EXE binary file. Alright all, this is it to this video. Short and sweet, straight to the point. If you are interested in learning about hacking Windows Active Directory and have a feel of how it looks like, there is a playlist available on my YouTube channel over here. It has 4 episodes which showcases the common scenarios you might encounter and what kind of tools you can use to test a Windows Domain Active Directory environment. Here is a shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thanks all, I really appreciate the support. Alright all, I hope you all have found this video to be useful. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.